hi guys how are you welcome back to my youtube channel i am feeling so much better since last time as you guys know i did my surgery and the girls are feeling so much better now i'm very excited that um that it was no complications that i was able to actually do this uh on time uh because i feel like uh, now that i changed them my health it feels so much better like i feel like i'm well, of course, I've been doing some cleanser because I've been going crazy here in the house because I can't do much. And so I tried to do like some gut cleanser, which I am going to be uh, posting about it because I think it's very important. Uh, but anyways, I'm not going to be talking too much about it. But yeah, so I've been trying to just to occupy the time like uh, to do a lot of things for my health. And I feel so much better. I've been losing some weight and the fact that you guys know that after a surgery you end up bloated like seriously your body your stomach like if I can show you guys a video I will uh, but it's it's crazy but it doesn't matter I feel like I'm um, I feel so much better I'm gonna show you guys some pictures So, okay, so that's how I'm looking now. That's how uh, my breasts have changed. And I know that it's going to be changing a lot because I'm losing weight. I'm also, I know that they're swollen, they're still healing. So it's going to be a lot of changes. But the most important part is that I'm, I'm doing great and the recovering have been very easy. I've been very judicious taking my pills and, and also um, like staying at home and just trying to to just take it easy you know i even though i lost some opportunities um but i always try to get the best because i feel like my health was a number one priority so well guys i have been reading your message thank you so much for you guys message thank you so much for always being there uh i, I want to say well first of all ross and i are doing great i know some people uh, have seen so many things on social media uh, but we're doing great we're doing so much better now. I feel like uh, a relationship is a hard work. I feel like people misjudge me uh, just because I wanted to do some different things, uh, but I'm not gonna be going there. Maybe I'm going to do some videos talking about uh, my seasons and like the things I did and how I feel about it because I feel like I have so much on that uh but that like show. my husband and I like since we move out of the RV I'm gonna tell you guys this since we move out of the RV uh everything changed the idea of moving to an RV and don't take me wrong I still have the RV yeah uh, it's on repairs and uh I uh having an RV I love it I think I want to have another one but uh not yet but I feel like if you want to travel if you want to explore uh U.S having an RV is the right thing to do but for me I like to like look I have the opportunity and I have so many things and so many things I want to do that that the RV is not the place for someone like me like I can and I didn't want it to be like that to be honest I feel like it, that took a big uh toll uh, how do you say like I, I it took a big uh fight to actually get us out of the RV because uh it was ross was all the time at home so he was working from home so having someone all the time at home is not that easy you want your space let's be honest we love someone so much but we also want your space and so uh it, it was too much and i feel like I, I needed a break and other things that to be honest is there is no point for me to mention the things that they were affecting our relationship and uh because at this point it doesn't matter we're doing better now and 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 we make it work like yes we 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 didn't break up break up because uh i don't want to say it and I, it's too strong but i we i did one at a time i really wanted to divorce uh, we went to therapy, uh, but you guys know, you guys have seen our story and we always try to make it work and that's what we always do. And I feel like I have to give props to Ross because he always like changed my mind. He's a great guy. And I know that I always knew that that's why we are almost, uh, 10 years. We're going to be celebrating 10 years together. Uh, it hasn't been easy, but I feel like 
when you were so young, you make so many mistakes. And now I feel like I grew up and I feel more mature. I feel like I was very mature. And I'm not going to say that I'm not, I'm, oh my goodness, like I grew up. Like, uh, no, I'm still like, um, I'm going to be making mistakes. That's uh, part of life. But I feel like I have changed a lot since the first season, since you guys saw me. And I think you guys didn't get to see like a whole of thing about me. Uh, I feel like it was just a different size and I hope that with this new show that is going to air soon uh, on Amazon Freebie, I hope you guys can see a little bit of different size, except for the game part. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Anyways, but um, but yes, guys, so like Rose and I have been doing better. Axel is growing strong. I am so proud of being his mama. I know there, I look, I got a message on Twitter and I feel like uh, some people don't understand uh, how, where do I stand up. I, I am a provider, I work, I provide for my family, and here in my family in Colombia, I help a lot of people, uh, a lot of people depend on me, and if I can be pregnant, I will, but I live out of this, and I can, uh, and my goal, uh, before I have another baby, I always say I want to adopt, and this is something that my husband agree with me, right now we are on the same page and when the time comes uh we are going to be adopting it's not that we want Axel to grow up alone uh we don't want that but it's just uh, I feel like uh, having a baby uh, you gotta be smart if you are in the right position you got you got the money you got the time uh, and I want to be able to enjoy my babies you know and I feel like I, I'm enjoying Axel so much and I work from home but I also travel a lot and so I don't want to have like, too many kids and not be able to have time with them. Uh, some people have the time, some people have it and good for them, but like some others have to work. And, and it's okay if somebody doesn't want to have more kids. It's, I feel like everybody have the right. So I felt a little like uh, offended uh, that someone called me selfish because I don't want to have more kids when in reality I do. It's just I need to be smart about it, you know? And... Um, so I hope that answered the question about kids because I get it a lot. Uh, I love children. I love being a mom. I feel like it changed my life completely. And I just love that little uh, boy. It's everything to me. And I just love it. And I know that Rose is an excellent father. And he's going to do amazing if, um, when we have another kid. So moving on from that, okay, what else is uh, going on with me? Okay, so I haven't been able to do wrestling this year. To be honest, I am very disappointed, but at the same time, it has been an amazing year. So I can't complain. Uh, I've been training very hard. I have to give props to Lince Dorado, which uh, he was training me. And then I have to go and do uh, this reality show. And I was gone for so long that I have to stop. Then I came back and I started training again. So like... I'm ready when I get healed, when I get healed, when I, I get back to be normal and I can wrestle. But definitely, I'm not quitting. I'm definitely not quitting. I love wrestling. You guys have no idea how much I enjoy this uh, this business. It's It makes me feel alive. And I feel like I'm bringing uh, something different once I step back in the ring again. Uh, for now, I have to recover from the, my breast. I have to say, uh, so many things happened to me. I have so many matches lined up this year. And, uh, and because I got injured too, and also the reality and also my breast. So I missed some opportunities that is making me very disappointed and sad. But you know what? Other great things happen and I'm just, I can't complain. Like, I can't complain. So I will be back to the ring. I will be back to be uh, this bad. So I'm planning on going to Colombia also. Um, so I've been talking with a company in Colombia that uh, it's big in wrestling. So if everything goes well, I will be having my debut in Colombia as a wrestler. And so my parents can actually go and see me wrestle. I hope that works. I hope we were like talking with this company, but it makes me super happy because I really want my parents to see me wrestling. Oh, see me wrestle. I do want them. I I don't know. They, My father is not going to be able to come to U.S., but my mom, she can, but that's a little difficult right now. But if I can get to do it in Colombia, in Bogota, that's 
I am so excited for it. So it's going to be at the end of this uh, year. Yes, at the end of this year. And so that's that makes me super, super excited. I wanted to give you this little, little update about my life. If you guys want something a little bit more deep into, I know that you guys told me about um, the RV to talk about the experience. I want to try to make that one in a different video. Uh, so I talk a little bit more about it because I don't want to make this video too long. I'm not a big fan of long videos because I get to talk too much. And sometimes it doesn't look good. So anyways, guys, so uh, please comment below. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. I have so many cool videos that are coming this way. I, I want to be doing things different on this channel because I'm not going to be sitting and talking, talking, talking. But also, also before I forget, Ross and I are coming up with something. Uh, we are launching our own podcast. So that's something that you guys have to stay tuned because we're going to work on that. And uh, we're very excited. We're very excited. Uh, this is my husband's idea. And of course, as a good wife I am, I'm going to support him. And yes, that's it. So Please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and thank you so much for you guys for always being there for me, for your night message. Many kisses to you guys. And if you guys have any idea of or something else that you guys want me to post here, I will be happy to do so. So many kisses to all of you. Ow, my boob is kind of telling me to shut up. And yes, I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.